In this video, I'm going to show you the full process of executing on TradingView with your TradeAvate account, whether you're using a personal or prop firm account. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's get to it. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a TradeAvate account. I'm personally using a prop firm. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the top right corner and click application settings. And then here you're going to click add-ons, right? The last tab right here, click add-ons. And you're going to make sure that TradingView right here is active. Most prop firms right now are offering TradeAvate props. So most of them should already have it activated completely for free. But if it's not, just make sure you click the activate button before we move on to TradingView. Next thing you're going to need is a TradingView account. This is completely separate to TradeAvate, right? So it's two separate platforms, two separate logins, okay? Once you are here, once you are in your charts, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom left corner and locate the trading panel. So you're going to click on trading panel. Make sure that all the brokers here come up and then you're going to click trade of it. Once this pop up comes up, whether you're using a real account or a demo account, choose either or if you're using a prop firm, whether that's a challenge or a sim funded account, make sure you click demo. And then here you're going to use the same username and login that you use to open trade of it. Okay. Basically the credentials that the prop firm provided you with. Once you hit connect, you should see this trade of eight pop up on your left here and it should have a green dot. Okay. If that is there, then you are connected successfully. Now to open up the trade panel, click this trade button here. Make sure we minimize this right here because we don't need that. And let me make sure I minimize my face here as well. So you guys can completely see what's happening here on the right of the screen because that's where we're going to be focusing on the most. Okay. Now. Here are exactly the steps on how to execute on TradeView. So it's a seamless process for your trade of eight accounts. Before we get into that, understand market orders, limit orders, and stop loss orders, just because you want to know exactly which one to use. A market order guarantees that you will get filled, but you are not guaranteed the price. Okay. So you don't know what price you will get filled at. Limit order is the opposite, right? You are guaranteed the price that you see here, but you are not guaranteed that you will get filled, right? The price might go without actually filling you in. And then we have a stop order, which a stop order basically tells the broker, hey, when the price reaches this price here, 4066.9, trigger a market order for me to exit the position there, okay? So keep this in mind, a stop is also a market order. If you want the stop limit, you gotta click stop limit here, which works a little bit different. And it gives you two different numbers. You have a stop price and a limit price. What this actually does is you're telling the broker, hey, if the price reaches 4066.9, trigger a stop order and make sure you're filling me at 4067 or better. Now, there's pros and cons to this because if the broker cannot fill you at this price, you might just not get filled at the stop loss and the price might just slice through it and not actually stop you out. So just careful when using this, especially if you're leaving your desk and um, not watching the charts, okay? But let's talk about the first way how to open orders on TradingView right here. So we go to limit, we pick the direction, whether we're shorting or longing, right? So let's say we wanna um, short the market right now. You're gonna click limit, make sure the number of units is correct. And what you wanna keep in mind always is if you are using limit orders and make sure the text is zero. So you're gonna click on this, make sure this is zero before you open the position. The reason we do that is just because we want to get the bid, right? We don't want to get above the bid or below the bid like this, right? Because it's not going to fill us right away. We just want to get in the bid right there. Okay. Make sure that we sell. Once we see this USD here starting to move, then it means that we are in that position. Okay. Now, how do we place stop losses and target orders? So you can either use the same order ticket or you could do it on the chart. So on the order ticket, just make sure you are doing the opposite. So if we went short here, if we sold, then we want to click buy. Make sure we click limit to exit this position for a profit target. So let's say we want to take profits at 64 here, right there. And we're going to click buy. Okay. That is now a pending order to take profit at that um, 4064 level. You can place a stop loss the same way, whether it's stop or stop limit. So you click stop, make sure you're doing the opposite of what you initially did. So if you sold, we want to click buy and then choose the correct price here. You want to put your stop loss. Let's say we want to put 70.5. Do not touch the ticks here, right? Whether you're 
placing a stop loss or a profit target, we only change the ticks to zero when we enter a position, okay? Don't touch this when you're placing target or stop losses. So we click buy, and there we have it, both orders there pending. Now, there is a disadvantage to using Tradeovate uh, with TradingView. Unfortunately, they don't have OCO orders here, okay? Basically, if one of these orders hits, the other doesn't cancel, right? We cannot link the two, unfortunately. You could do that with some brokers on TradingView, but Tradeovate, unfortunately, does not have that option selected on their end. So as of right now, as I'm making this video, that is not an option, unfortunately. But that's one way to put these orders. The other way to put these orders is going to be by just using the uh, chart here. So let's say we want to place a stop loss right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do the opposite. So buy stop. Okay. And then if I want to take profits right here, I'm going to do buy limit. Okay. So when the price reaches here, it's going to um, close me out of the position and I'm going to be in profits. You can also drag and drop these, right? And then you're going to get a notification here at the bottom left corner when the order has been modified, okay? Now, you have this X button right here, which says close position. I would only use that button for a panic button, right? So if you're like, hey, I just want to exit this position. I don't care where I will get filled. Click that, right? Because that will trigger a market order. So if I click that right there, right? It is a market order, as you can see right there at the bottom left corner, market order executed. Now, you also have these arrows on the chart that will show you exactly where you got in and where you got out. And if you click on it, you'll also see exactly the price and the time that you got filled. You're more than happy to hide them as well. So if you click on, if you right click on the chart, click settings, you can play around with these settings. Make sure you click on trading here, right on your left. You can play around with these settings as much as you want, right? So um, the execution marks, as you can see, we can turn them on or off and the labels on and off as well. So if you wanna have those on on your charts all the time. There's more settings here that you can play around with, whether you want sound when the orders get executed or if you wanna have one click trading or uh, um, have the option to reconfirm. I personally like one click trading, but if you wanna have a reconfirmation, you can have that on as well, okay? now. There is also an option here to open both your take profit and stop loss at the same time, even though personally I do not use this, okay? But let's say we want to go long right now. We go buy, we go limit. We make sure we have the number of contracts set here. So let's just get into this time so I can show you a couple of other things as well. Ticks is zero. You make take profit and stop loss, right? And either you can modify these here based on price you can modify them based on ticks, based on a specific dollar amount. Hey, I want to take profit when it hits $200, right? And it will automatically show it when it's $200, right? And let's say we click buy. It will open all of those orders at the same time. Again, personally, I do not use it this way just because I am someone who slowly exits a position. So when I do this, maybe I put a stop loss there, right? So I have the stop loss checked. So it opens the order with a stop loss, but if not, then um, I'll just enter first and then do these after. So let's say we did this, right? Let me just cancel that, right? So let's say we entered the um, position and we also had the stop loss placed there. Now, the way I would exit a position would be by just right clicking on the chart wherever my targets are. So let's say I wanna place an order right there. I wanna make sure that my unit is changed first because I wanna slowly scale out, right click, sell limit and then right click sell limit right so i have two contracts um whenever one of these orders get filled it will uh, trim me exit me partially now keep this in mind because trading view trade of it connection does not have oco orders you want to keep this in mind so let's say this gets filled here i just want to get this filled so you guys can see something on the stop here so now the stop is two contracts you see how it got filled on that position but the stop did not change, right? So we have one contract left, but now we still have two on the stop loss, which would be completely wrong, right? Because what that would do is it would trigger the order to get closed on one contract, and then we would go short another contract. So we don't want that to happen. So the first thing you want to do is whenever you see that an order got filled, a, a partial profit target got filled, just like we had it happen here, you want to click on this too, 
and modify it to how many contracts you have left. So we just have one. Click confirm here, and then you're good to go. Okay, just keep that in mind. Again, I know this is an extra step because um, there's no OCO, so you can't connect it together, but this is the way that it works, and this is the way that we can have it right now. Uh, maybe this changes in the future, but again, this is this is how it works right now. Now, you can also change this price right here if you want to have it with a different um, showing. So if you right-click, click settings, you can actually show that in ticks, right, or percentage if you feel like that might be something that you want to change, okay? And lastly, we also have the DOM here. The DOM, you can also trade from the DOM if you like to use the DOM, if you want to trade from here. And you also have a couple of extra functionalities when it comes to the DOM. So you have these buttons at the bottom, flatten, cancel all, or reverse. I personally have not used the reverse button, and it's the same button right here as well. So I personally have not used that. Um, I feel like it's very risky to put that you know, button right here. I don't know why TradingView does that, but it's right there. Uh, it basically reverses the order completely, right? If we were longs, we would go on shorts, right? Again, it's there. Cancel all button, it will cancel all pending orders on the chart. And then flatten all will close the position completely, right? So if we were to click flatten all, right? It would cancel the orders pending and flatten the position we are in as well. Again, you can also use this to actually enter, right? So if you want to enter with a limit order, you can actually enter directly from, from the DOM if you wish. And also just so you can see how this works with trade evade, right? Just so you can see that it works exactly the same. Let's say I enter a limit order right now to buy in, ask a zero, right? Buy in one contract. You should see the PNL like plus dot plus two dollars right now. If you go to trade of eight, right, go to your account, we should see the same PNL open right now. Okay. Let's say we open up a or let's say we place a profit target up here at 4072. We should see the same order come up here as well, as you can see, 4072 showing on this chart. And they work together. So if I were to modify this order here to 74, we should see that modified here as well, right? So both platforms work together in that sense. I hope this video helped this TradeView, TradeAwait connection. There's more tutorials coming and functionality on your TradingView mobile should work the same, but I will have a mobile video coming soon for you guys as well who trade on your phones. Also, one little trick that I forgot to include in the video is this. If you are someone who uses the short or long tool on TradingView, you can actually use this to enter positions if you wish. So let's say we have a, uh, let's say a long position, right? And let's say, hey, we want to enter somewhere here. And then our profit target is going to be somewhere here. And our stop loss is going to be somewhere here. You can actually enter the same kind of setup that you did here through this tool and how you do that is by right clicking going to create limit order and then just hitting buy or sell at the bottom right of the screen which you probably can see because i'm there but there should be a big button there once you hit that you can see this order right there opens up completely right with your stop loss your uh, profit target and your pending limit order right in case the price goes there and you want to buy okay now, not sure how many of you guys will use this, but just so you know, it is another way to use the short and long tool in order to open positions. And you can even do this for where the price is right now, right? So if I cancel this, if I do a short and long, let's say we want to do, what is this? The um, long tool. Let's say I want to do something like this where the price is right now. I can actually do this. Clear, create limit order, click buy, right? And it's right there. I just opened it and placed order, all the orders at the same time. If you like these types of videos, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button because there's more coming.